Hello guys, well, we're gonna make a fried fish sandwich. We're gonna do some easy um, stuff to make a fried fish sandwich. So I already got my grease on the stove and it's getting heated up. I have a piece of tilapia. I'm gonna cut my I cut the tilapia in half so it can fit on the buns, and then I have some buns. So I have the butter in the skillet. I'm gonna brown the buns. I have my fries in the air fryer, but for this fish. I am going to uh, deep fry it in grease because I, I, I've, I've had fish in the air fryer and it's okay. So I'm taking it, putting it in an egg batter. Then I'm going to dip it in my flour. And we're going to do this twice. I'm making a mess, making a mess. Make sure it's, um, you get all the ball spots. So I got my all-purpose flour, a little bit of a uh, cornmeal, and I season the flour and as well as my meat is seasoned. So I'm doing it again so we can get it nice. Okay. And we're dipping it again in the flour. So the grease is on the stove heating up to 350 degrees. So that this fish can fry nice. I have my fries going in the air fryer. And again, we put it in the egg. My fries is going in the air fryer. So this is going to be really, really good. Yes. And this is tilapia. You can use any fish that you want. So, got it out of the egg batter. Put it in the flour. I got my lettuce tartar sauce, like everything. Okay, so get all them spots. Get it, get it, get it. I wish I had a thermometer to be able to tell the grease when it gets to that 350 degrees. So I have my two pieces of fish all battered up. I'm trying to clean up my mess as I go because sometimes I make a big mess. So my butter is doing what it needs to do. We're going to get these buns. We're going to get these buns up and going. So I'm trying to clean up as I go because a lot of times I make a mess. But this, this will be real easy. And I did clean the fish and all that before I got on here. So my fries are doing what they got to do. I put them on 15 minutes. And we're just waiting on this grease to heat up. Okay. So now, I'm going to get the buns together. And I'm only going to make one fish sandwich because I'm only making it for myself. So I got my butter heated up. And then... Okay, so I'm going to open up the bonds, put it in the butter. Now, because I'm only making one, and I'm only making it for myself, so I don't know what I did for Ty. Here we go. So I'm going to check my fries, and once this fish heat up, once this grease heat up to the right temperature, guys, I'm going to bring it on board, and I'm going to start frying it. So I'm going to have y'all here waiting for all that long time. So I got it battered. I got the grease waiting to heat up. And once that grease get hot and ready, then I'm going to put it in there and I'll bring y'all back. Hey okay, guys, so as you can see, I heated up those buns. And now I'm going to bring y'all a little closer. I am about to fry. And I should have used a bigger one than this, but I'm only frying these two little pieces. And... Gonna fry these two pieces of fish till they're done. So, as my fish is getting fried up, I'm going to season up the buns with some tartar sauce. And we're letting that do what it do. So, I will come back, guys. Once that fish comes out of the grease. 
guys. So I'm ready to take my fish out and add the cheese. I don't have the little blowtorch like they do. So my fish is ready. Let some of this grease drain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the fish. I'm going to put I got to show y'all the fish. Sorry, my bad. Y'all see it? It's frying pretty good. Tilapia. Okay, now I'm going to take the fish and put, I'm going to put a little mozzarella roller, then I'm going to put the American cheese on it. And I'm going to put it in the boiler in the oven and let it set a couple seconds just to get my cheese to melt. I want two separate type of cheese. And I'm going to take the American cheese. I'm going to put it on there, and I have my boiler on, okay? We're going to let that brown, and um, we're going to have a fish sandwich. So I'm going to show you guys the fries is ready. And I normally don't have put uh, ketchup or anything on my fries. I normally just like a little garlic. And I don't do salt. So I'll put a little garlic on there. I have the lettuce and tartar sauce for the fish. So we're just waiting for this to do what it needs to do and it's doing what it needs to do. So once that um, go ahead and brown, then the fish sandwich will be complete. So this will be something great for my beginners. So those ladies that's just starting to cook a little bit, you know, don't put that poison in your mind and say you can't cook. And this is simple. So this will be something fast, like you make for the kids, the hubby, you know, and if, if y'all not in a fish, you can do chicken sandwich like this. And you can do the chicken sandwich. Um, if you don't want to do fry, you can do it in the um, air fryer. So take the chicken breast, clean it, put it in the air fryer, make a great grilled chicken sandwich. Yeah. So, yes, we can do anything. Okay. It is ready, guys. It is ready. Cheese is all melted. I'm going to have me a nice chicken sandwich and listen to some manifestation videos. So you see, it is ready. If you like ketchup, then add a little ketchup to this. So you see it, there you go. There go the fish sandwich. Put the top, on. Um, it's upside down. Okay, that's the top of the fish, just the bottom. And I'm gonna cut this in half. It'd probably be too much for me too. So. Look at that fish sandwich, guys. So, guys, you can make awesome fish sandwiches at home. So, thank you guys so much. I need to clean my cam camera because I'm blurry. <laughs> you see how blurry I am? Let me clean that off a little bit, but I still look a little greasy. But anyway, <laughs> maybe this is the fish frying. So, thank you guys for watching, guys. Toodles. Okay, guys, it'd only be right if I take at least one bite to let y'all see how it turned out, okay? Mmm. It's really good. It's nice. Fresh tilapia. Mmm. So, yes, guys, you can make the fish sandwich, the chicken sandwiches, any ones you want to. I've been following a lot of recipes from Pinterest, and I've been trying to cook more. You know, always eating out. So, it's good. You guys try it.